Now that we've created the markup for our first blog article, I want to teach you how to begin styling this. So we're going to begin at the very beginning. Let's say we want this title to be red. For no specific reason, we want it to be red. Well, the easiest way, and this is not the way you should do it, but it's a way you can do it, is to use an attribute called style. So within every element, within every tag, HTML tag, there are attributes that are available. We can assign unique identifiers so that we can reference them. We can assign classes, and we'll, those are another way to reference them. And we can also use the style attribute. And this allows us to apply specific styling to this tag only. And we follow the same convention as we did with this car set attribute. We say style equals and then within quotes we're going to specify what we need we're going to be using css cascading style sheets to create our styling and we'll get into that shortly but to begin with we can do something very simple and say that we want the color to be red so i'll type color red now notice if we zoom in right here with css we specify a property followed by a colon, and then the value that we want it to be, and then we end every declaration with a semicolon. So I'm gonna save that, and if I come back, now you'll see that that color is red. If you wanna test it out, green. Come back, and now that's taken effect. So what happens though if we duplicate it? And we'll say color red. So now we have two contradicting statements. One is color green, one is red. So what color do you think it'll end up being? Red. Now. The reason is because of the cascading nature of CSS. And don't worry if you, you still don't understand CSS, I'm gonna teach you all of it. But it's important to know that the lower in the document a property is declared, the more likely it is to take precedence. So there are things such as weight that we'll get into in future lessons, but for something as simple as this, because this was declared last in the document, it takes effect over this one. Now, this is a bad practice. Do you remember in a previous lesson where I made note of the fact that if we wanted to update our website later and we wanted to make that color yellow, we would have to return to our HTML document, which should only be responsible for content. It should not be responsible for presentation, remember? So this is a bad plan. This is what people used to do, but can you imagine how quickly your layout becomes destroyed when you start doing things like this? It looks really gross really fast. Not to mention, if we decide we want our text to be yellow now, we would then have to go and update every single one. Copy that, paste that in, and now that's updated. Do the next one. As you can imagine, this is a really, really bad system. So that is what we use external style sheets for. And we'll take a look at that in the next lesson.